I'm Nick with Wakuda Water Sports, here to give you an introduction to our 12-volt manor inflation pump. Now, you're probably excited about joining the rest of the world who's just joining the stand-up paddleboard craze because it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of areas to, to explore, and it's a great social opportunity to get out with your friends and family. Now, every paddleboard, including our Wakuda and our Wahoo inflatable paddleboards, come with a manual inflation pump. Now, the manual inflation pump is great. It gets you out in the water, but you use that pump once, twice, or three times, and then you begin to think there's got to be a better way. And we went through the same thing, and that's why we did our homework, and we found this Bravo inflation pump that is really a great little tool to have with you. It cuts your inflation time probably in one half or one third, saves your energy so that you can spend your time out on the water paddling with your family and friends. Now let's look at some of the specifics about why we think so highly about this 12-volt Bravo inflation pump. Taking a look at the faceplate of your 12-volt Bravo Mano inflation pump, I want to highlight a couple of features. First of all, up on top, you've got your air intake, which you want to make sure you keep clean and try not to let any dirt or grit get in there. Below your air intake, you have your dial. Now this dial rotates so that you can set your desired PSI, and I'd just like to highlight the inside gauge is your PSI rating. That's in red. It goes from 1 up to 15. What you do is before you begin your inflation process, set the black needle to your desired PSI, then connect your hoses, connect your power supply, and then hit your on button. So this rotates from 1 all the way up to 15. Most inflatables run at 8, 10, 12 PSI, so you're well within the operating range of the pump. Some people like to go all the way up to the high end. That's capable of doing with this pump. Um, you just have to set it up on the high side. So below the manometer gauge, you have your on and off buttons. Your red male hose end is your inflation connection. The gray is your deflation. Air comes out here, air goes in here. All right, so we'll look at the other features that come with the pump in a minute. Every mano pump comes with a standard six feet of inflation hose. On one end of the hose, there's a male hose end that you connect to your pump. The other end comes with what I call a fluted end that you can use for many different um, uh, applications depending on what you're trying to inflate. And it has different adjustments to fit different size uh, inflatables. What we do is in addition to the hose that comes with the Bravo inflation pump, we also include the adjustable male hose end. Now you can use that in lieu of this gray chisel tool on the end of the hose to inflate a wide variety of inflatable paddle boards as well as kayaks. For the, um, the Wakuda and the Wahoo inflatables, you take the yellow end off and use just the green spacer. That fits the narrow valves perfectly. If you're working with Helky Roberts valve, take the green off, just use the yellow with the black washer. That fits your Helky Roberts gauges just like that. So you have some flexibility and we do provide this piece with you with every Bravo Mano that we ship. So that's the hose connections and the male hose end fittings. That should give you enough variety to make sure that you can connect to your desired inflatable SUP or kayak. Every 12 volt mano comes with 10 feet of alligator clips to attach to your power supply. Now this is a 12 volt pump. You need to connect this to a 12 volt power source. Now whether 12 volt is the battery in your car or it's the battery on your boat or the battery in your RV, Either way, with the 10, fit, uh, 10 feet of hose, you can connect the red to the red and the black to the black to connect to the 12 volt power source, which is required to run your 12 volt mano inflation pump. Now what I do is I purchased a 12 volt gel battery, which is a small ATV battery. It's a 20 amp battery. I use that because it lets me be free to go wherever I want to go, especially right to the water's edge, to use my inflation pump to inflate my paddle boards right on the water's edge. And what I do with this is I just connect the alligator clips to the gel battery, red to red, black to black, connect my hoses, set my desired PSI, and then hit the on button, and that gets me to my inflation. And as I mentioned earlier, your 10.6 Wakuda stand-up inflation paddleboard is inflated usually in less than four minutes. So that's the power supply which is critical to running your pump. 
So you've purchased your Bravo Mano Inflation Pump and as you know that it comes with a six feet of inflation hose. On the end of the hose there's this what I call a chisel tool that's used to fit a wide variety of accessories, particularly the two that come with it so that you can inflate uh, SUPs, kayaks, uh, pool toys, whatever else it may be. Now that's really not optimal, especially in this current environment where all of the SUPs are being inflated up to 8, 10, 12, and 14, and 15 PSA PSI like our Wakuda and Oahu inflatable paddle boards. The kayaks are going 6 to 8 PSI, so you need a little more than this chisel tool. And the big dilemma that a lot of you face is how do I take the hose that's on my manual inflation pump and I connect it to the hose on the Bravo inflation pump so that I can connect the Bravo inflation pump to my SUP or my kayak. Well, here are a couple of suggestions. First of all, if you've got the male hose ends that come with your manual inflation pump, you can use that male hose end. What I suggest you do is take a pair of pliers and just turn this chisel tool, this is only glued into the hose. Take this out and then insert with some glue the male hose end and then put a hose clamp on it. So that will connect you from the hose on your Bravo inflation pump directly to the valve on your, in this case, a Wahoo or a Wakuda inflatable paddleboard or a kayak. This is what the hose will look like when you fix that male hose end to the Bravo inflation hose. I always put a hose clamp on it for safety and then I wrap it with some white electrical tape to keep all the sharp edges away from my fingers as well as keep it away from the board. So that's what it looks like when you finish. These male hose ends are available on our website if you'd like to purchase them or if you're no longer going to be using your manual inflation pump you can just cut this off and use the one that's on your manual inflation pump. Now if you're using the Bravo inflation pump with a wide variety of other products that are out there and you want to use the adjustable male hose end that we provide with the Bravo inflation pump, follow the same procedure. Remove the gray chisel tool from the end of the black inflation hose, insert this, put a hose clamp on it and tape it so it will look something like this. So you've got the male adaptable hose end fitting on the end of your hose. Again, put a hose clamp on it and to make it nice and safe put some white electrical tape on it so that there's no sharp edge sewing. So that's one way to approach the connection of your Bravo inflation pump to whatever brand uh, SUP, inflatable paddleboard or kayak that you're trying to connect to. So hope this helps. All these parts are available on our website. Just go to wakudausa.com. You'll see them. If you're ordering a Bravo inflation pump for us, I suggest you give us a call first and tell us what application you're using. We will make these connections for you here in the shop and we'll send you your Bravo inflation pump with this already done. So all you need to do is to plug this to your, into your power supply, connect your hoses, and you're off and going. And as I mentioned, in less than four minutes, you'll have a 10.6 6 inflatable paddleboard up to 12, 15, uh, 12 to 14 PSI. Hope this helps. Any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.